Hey, 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 everybody. Good evening and welcome to the Quantum Franchise Group webinar. And uh, it's great to see you folks here this evening. I uh, just have one burning question for the last two minutes. I've been sitting here wondering, Scott, what's for dinner? He turned his camera off. I was enjoying his dinner. It looked really, really good, Scott, whatever it was. <laughs> hey, we're glad to have you here. Uh, bear with me just one moment. I need to uh, send someone the link to this who is having a, uh, a difficult time getting in. So bear with me just one moment, please. <clears throat> All right, very good. So Again, thank you for being here. We're excited to uh, spend some time meeting with you this evening. My name is William. I'm the president and founder of Quantum Franchise Group. And I have a few of our team in here that I want to uh, just acknowledge and let you all say just a quick hello to the group, if you would. Uh, so the first person I see on camera right next to me here is Mr. James Daniel. Hello, James. Hey, William. How you doing? Hello, group. Uh, glad everybody could make it. I am... Um live from Hilton Head. I am traveling and got my Starbucks, but I wouldn't miss this for the world. So just want to say hello to everybody and welcome. Wonderful. Happy to have you. And uh, I see Dan in the house from California. Hello, Dan. Good evening, William, or I should, I should say uh, early, af late afternoon from California. Uh, great to see everybody. Looking forward to the uh, webinar. All right. And then down below me, a couple spots. I see Mr. Rich Potter out there in Arizona. Hello, Rich. Hey, William. How's it going? Good, sir. Good to have you with us this evening. So these three folks that I just introduced you to, these are uh, members of our team. They are franchise development agents, and uh, some of them here are responsible for some of you being in the room tonight. So we had about 50 folks register. I'm sure we'll have a few people uh, trickling in as we get started here. So uh, we're going to go ahead and jump right into this. And just to give you a couple housekeeping rules, if you would, please, I do want to ask everybody to make sure that you keep your mics on mute throughout the presentation this evening, just to minimize distractions. Uh, the more people come into the room, the more chance we have of uh, uh, unnecessary noise distracting everybody. Um, we are going to probably spend the full 45 minutes to an hour going through the material that we're going to be sharing with you this evening. We are not going to have time to really dive into a Q&A session. So uh, what I would encourage you to do is any questions that you have as we're going through the presentation this evening, uh, jot those down. And then as we talk about each brand that we're going to share with you this evening, you're going to see a way for you to uh, respond and let us know that you'd like to get some more information or at least get some of your questions answered that we're unable to tackle here in the meeting this evening. So without any further ado, I'm going to go back to a screen share here and uh, we will start the presentation. All right, everybody should be able to see my screen. What we're going to be talking about tonight is million dollar producing low investment franchises. And we have, uh, the team and I have carefully curated a group of five specific franchise brands that really check all of the boxes for someone who is looking for an opportunity to either step away from your corporate life, step away from that nine to five job and begin build, building generational wealth for you and your family. Or perhaps you're already a business owner and you're looking for some great options to consider adding to your business portfolio. I promise you, you're gonna see some of the best options we have during this webinar this evening. I do wanna draw your attention to that quote down on the bottom right of the screen. I believe this with everything in me because it's been true of me and I believe it's true of everybody that the moment you prove to yourself that you can earn an income without a boss is the moment that you become invincible. So many of us are tied to that day job, tied to that regular paycheck, and we have this false sense of security that that is what is keeping us safe and secure. And if there's one thing that we've learned the last few years, and we are learning at, a, uh, at an astonishing rate uh, every year that passes, is that employment is not safe. There is no security in employment. Your employment can go away tomorrow. But the moment you show yourself that you can 
begin earning an income, and not just an income, but a lucrative income without the help of a boss, that changes something inside of you and it changes you forever. And uh, I believe you become invincible at that point. We're going to help you do that tonight with the brands that we're going to be showing you. So let's go ahead and talk about uh, Quantum Franchise Group. I want to introduce uh, our company to you very briefly here. You've already met a couple of our, a few of our team members. Quantum Franchise Group LLC is an award-winning franchise brokerage and consulting firm headquartered in Michigan, serving clients all across North America. We're a member of the Franchise Brokers Association, and we represent over 800 franchise brands across 37 different industries. Um, regardless of what you may be looking for out there in the world of franchising, uh, I guarantee you we've got something that's going to be a great fit for you in our inventory. Um, we help people make the dream of business ownership a reality with an integrity first commitment, all at no cost to our clients. And what do I mean by an integrity first commitment? Well, what I mean there is that when you work with us here at Quantum Franchise Group, the one thing that you can be sure of is that your best interest is always going to be at the forefront of everything that we do together. When you start a relationship with any of our folks here at Quantum that you see there at the bottom of the screen, um, you are, are beginning a relationship, people who are here to serve you, to make sure that your best interests are taken care of, that they are addressed, and that we help you find a franchise that you're going to love just as much 10 years from now as you do on grand opening day. So that is a little bit about uh, us, Quantum Franchise Group. Let's talk about our agenda for the evening. So first, we're going to take a few minutes and we're going to talk about franchising in general. And we're going to explain why franchising <clears throat> is the safest, most predictable way to become a business owner. We're going to take a look at five specific franchise brands all of them producing right around $1 million in average annual top line revenue with margins above 40% and an investment range somewhere between 100K and 300K. Some of them that we're going to look at tonight, one or two of them, uh, the all-in investment can even be below 100K on the low end. But we're going to be introducing you to those five brands and we're also going to just give you an educational moment and help you understand the nine-step process that you will go through if you choose to become a franchise owner. And this is a process that everybody on our team is here to help you navigate. All right, that is our agenda for this evening. Now, before we begin, take a look at your screen. You see a beautiful picture of the Celebrity Beyond cruise ship. One of the newest cruise ships on the ocean. Uh, I think it just launched within the last year. Uh, I am a cruise aficionado. I love cruising. Uh, I owned a travel agency um, at one point, and one of our team members actually still owns the, her travel agency. And she is actually putting together for us the Quantum on the Seas Franchise Family Reunion Cruise. Why is that important? Because when you work with Quantum Franchise Group, myself or any of our franchise development agents to open your franchise, you are going to become part of the Quantum family, which means that you're going to be invited to sail with us for free on the ship that you see on the screen for our franchise family reunion cruise. That's right. You get to come for free. We're picking up the tab for you. So wanted to make sure that all of you knew that. Uh, as you take a look at these brands, make sure that you're working with us so that we can uh, spend some time together on the Lido deck of that beautiful cruise ship uh, in the not too distant future. All right, let's go ahead and dive into our content for this evening. I want to begin by sharing with you some thoughts about franchising in general and why we believe that franchising is the safest, most predictable way to become a franchise owner. <clears throat> and the first reason that I'll share with you is because that when you become a franchise owner, you are beginning a business with an already established proof of concept. Proof of concept is the very first thing that any business has to establish uh, to see if there's even a business there to be had with franchises. That's already taken care of for you. The, the concept has already been proven. People love it. And uh, you do not have to worry about establishing that proof of concept on your own. The second reason why franchising is a great option is that in many cases, 
you're going to begin a business with immediate brand recognition, either regionally, nationally, possibly even globally with some of the brands that we represent. The brand recognition is already there. Think of it this way. Let's say you want to open a restaurant and uh, Bill and Betty want to open their burger barn at the corner of Broad Street and Birch. First thing they're going to have to do is convince the people in their city that their burgers are worth coming and trying. Nobody knows what Bill and Betty's burgers taste like at the burger barn at the corner of Broadway and Birch. However, if they had chosen to open a Wayback Burgers or a Muya Burgers and Shakes, well, there's people all across the United States who already know what those burgers taste like, what the food is like, what the quality of service is going to be. When you open a franchise, you've got that brand recognition from the day that you open your doors. Third reason, you're going to avoid many of the costly trial and error mistakes as the systems and the processes and the procedures that you're going to be operating with, they've already been tested and proven and replicated many times over. Many of you have probably already heard the, the statistic that uh, a certain uh, enormous percentage of businesses fail within their first few years. And there are various reasons for that. There is truth to that when you're talking about independently owned businesses. One of the reasons is because there are so many costly trial and error mistakes that are made at the beginning that eat away at your profit margins and slow down your trajectory toward profitability. But with a franchise, that's already been taken care of for you. You've got the processes and the systems and procedures simply handed to you in your training to, re to take those and begin running with them. All right. Another reason that we believe in franchising is because you're going to begin with comprehensive training and you're going to continue with ongoing corporate and peer support. So when Bill and Betty open the burger barn at the corner of Broadway and Birch, they are pretty much on their own. They're on their own to figure it out, and maybe they've never owned a restaurant before, so uh, Betty may make some amazing hamburgers, but do they really know how to run a business? Do they really know how to do marketing? Do they really know how to do inventory control and, and uh, all of the things associated with operating that business? Whereas with a franchise, you receive initial training before you open your doors, and you have with you, for the entire duration of your time with that company, a built-in support system, both at the corporate office and the network of franchise owners. All right, another reason is that in many cases, you're going to enjoy initial and ongoing expense reduction through corporate purchasing agreements for assets and supplies and furnishings. Some people will look at franchising and they may bulk a little bit. They may think, Ah, why should I pay a franchise fee? Or why should I pay a small percentage of my revenues in the form of royalties? And they don't really think about all of the benefits of being part of a franchise system. And one of those benefits is that when you open a restaurant with a franchise, and I'm just using restaurants here, we're not even going to look at uh, restaurants this evening. I'm just using this as an example. When you open a business, particularly with a brick and mortar, you've got those furnishings, you've got that kitchen equipment, you've got all of the supplies that you're going to go have out and have to purchase, most likely at full prices. Whereas when you're with a franchise system, uh, you're going to enjoy uh, discounts on those supplies and equipment through cooperative purchasing agreements. So all of those things together translate into a potentially faster, safer, and more predictable trajectory toward revenue and positive cash flow. I'm going to let you in on a little secret about retention rates. Many of the brands in our inventory that we represent have a retention rate of 85% or more. What does that mean? That means that 85% or more of the people who become a franchise owner and finish their five or 10 year franchise agreement choose to sign another agreement and remain with the company. That is an extraordinary retention rate. And that blows apart the uh, argument that 50% or more of businesses fail within the first couple of years. That certainly may have some truth in the independent business world, but in franchising, when we present you with brands, we're going to be presenting you with brands that have about an 85 or more percentage retention rate.
So that is our case for franchising. That's why the, the folks on my team who you met earlier and myself, that's why we do what we do every day and work with the people that we work with uh, all around the United States. All right. From here, I want to talk with you a little bit about the nine-step process of becoming a franchise owner. Uh, many, of you, many of you, this may be a complete mystery to you. Some of you may have already been through this process yourself. But the first thing that I want to begin with before we really dive into what I'm going to put on the screen here is that becoming a franchise owner isn't simply a financial transaction. You don't just decide one day, I'm going to go buy a franchise, and as long as I've got the capital to invest in, and I'm going to get my franchise. What a lot of folks don't understand is that becoming a franchise owner is an award process. From the very first introduction, the franchise company is evaluating you as a candidate as thoroughly as you are evaluating them as a sound business investment. And a lot of people get rejected from the process right out of the gate, right from the very beginning, because they treat this like a purchase and not that dream job that they've always wanted that they have to go out and win. So this nine-step process is a process through which you win your franchise award and both you and the franchise system become absolutely convinced without a shadow of a doubt that this is a great mutual fit. And one of the advantages of working with an organization like Quantum Franchise Group is that we are going to guide you every step of the way. We're gonna prepare you for every step in this process to make sure that you are putting your best self forward, make sure that you are fully prepared and equipped to navigate the process and be awarded your franchise at the end. So let's dig into this nine step process. Step number one is introduction. Okay, the first thing that we here at Quantum Franchise Group are going to do after you and I and or you and my team members have had an initial pre-qualifying call with you is we're going to introduce you to the franchise company. We're going to go ahead and register you as a pre-qualified uh, high priority candidate. And once that introduction is made, the evaluation process is on both ways. And here is where you have to be very, very careful to make sure you win the prize. The next step in the process is what's called a discovery call. After we introduce you to the franchise, likely within a few hours, they're going to be reaching out to you, most likely via email, but possibly even text or phone call, to introduce themselves and to invite you to schedule a discovery call with them. And that is a, usually about a 30 minute or so phone call where you introduce yourself, they introduce themselves, they introduce their concept, they answer your questions, and then they explain the remainder of the process that you're going to begin going through with them. After the discovery call, usually it sometimes can be the next step, sometimes it can be a step or two down the road a little bit, but the next important step in this process is the delivery of the franchise disclosure document. This is a huge 300 page document that every franchise system in the United States is required to present to you as a candidate. That is going to be delivered to you. Uh, my team is going to send you some coaching information on how to read the FDD, how to interpret it, uh, how to make sure you're paying attention to the most critical parts of that. And then after that has been delivered to you, you will then most likely have a FDD review call with the franchise development rep at the franchise system. After that call has happened, typically the next step in the process is what's called a territory and economics call. This is where you have another meeting with the folks at the franchise and you kind of map out the territory. You look at the areas that you're most interested in. You talk about the demographics. You talk about the population density. And some franchise systems will give you a little bit of guidance on how to build your own pro forma profit and loss statement to evaluate the potential return on investment that you can expect um, with your franchise. Now, no franchise system out there is going to tell you how much money you're going to make. They're not going to make you any promises, any real projections, any guarantees, partly because they are prohibited from the Federal Trade Commission from doing so. But between them and us here at Quantum Franchise Group, we are going to help you do everything you can to understand a potential return on investment. All right, after the territory and economics call, then comes a very important part of the process that is called validation calls. 
This is the second way in which you're going to evaluate the potential ROI and validate the positive experience of working with this franchise company. You'll be provided with the names and contact information of other franchise owners who are already in the system so that you can reach out to them, you can have phone conversations with them, and you can ask them whatever questions you wanna ask them. And they are not bound by the Federal Trade Commission the way that the franchise system is. They can be as candid as they wanna be about their financials, about the relationship with the franchise system, about whether or not they would make that same decision again if they uh, had the opportunity to go back and evaluate it again. The validation calls is one of the most important parts in the process. And this is the one step that is really designed to protect you. This is your step here to make sure that you are making the best financial decision for yourself. All right, after the validation calls, if you've gotten this far, you're you're doing really well. Um, this is, If you're at this step in the process, the franchise system has already decided that they like you, you're a viable candidate, and uh, they want to then proceed with you to what's called an executive call or an executive meeting. It could be a phone call, it could be a Zoom meeting, but this is where you will actually meet with possibly the founder of the company or if not the founder, one of the senior executives leading the company. Um, this is a very important mutual interview experience where they're really taking this seriously with you. You're really taking it seriously with them. And this is typically about an hour or so long phone call where you really get to the heart of this decision with the top person at the company. Now, if you get through your executive call, which we're going to coach you for, we're going to, again, prepare you to show up and to show up strong for that executive call. Uh, if you get through that executive call and the people at the company still love you, then you're going to proceed to an incredibly exciting day. And this is called Discovery Day. This is typically a time where you will travel to the company headquarters or some companies do this virtually via Zoom. Um, so it could happen one, either one of those two ways. But this is where you really decide that you want to say I do before you put the ring on it and, uh, and make this a, 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 a long-term relationship. You're going to be able to evaluate the team face-to-face, -face, either in person or via Zoom. You're going to learn about the behind-the-scenes processes and procedures, how they support you, marketing, all of those things. Discovery Day is really the final day, the final step in the process. When you get to discovery day, you need to enter discovery day ready to make a decision because as soon as that discovery day wraps up, if they like you and they want to go ahead and move forward with you, chances are within a few hours, you're going to have an award letter in your hands and be asked to make a decision and sign a franchise agreement. And that's what happens on award day. It could be the same day as discovery day. Uh, two of my deals that closed this year, um, just within the last month or so, the folks wrapped up an award day and within an hour, they already got a phone call from the CEO and an award letter in their email. So this can happen very quickly, if not the same day, typically within 24 to 48 hours, you will be awarded that franchise if you have uh, navigated this process well. This is where you'll sign your franchise agreement, you will submit your funds and then you will begin preparing for initial training and the grand opening of your business. So folks, this is the nine step process. It can be a little bit intimidating, especially if you've never been involved in franchising before, but there is no reason for it to be intimidated because you have an amazing team of people here at Quantum Franchise Group, like I said, who are going to walk with you every step of the way. And we're all gonna do this at no cost to you. You are never going to be charged by Quantum Franchise Group for any of the work that we do together, all right? And at some point in this process, we're even going to introduce you to our funding expert. You may be in a situation where you wanna do a retirement rollover to fund your business, or you wanna do an SBA loan, or potentially a HELOC. We have a funding expert on our team who is going to help you make those decisions. We also have a franchise attorney on our team who's going to help you with a FDD review, the franchise agreement review, to make sure that you are as protected by that franchise agreement as the franchise company is. So 
That's what you're going to go through, and that's what we're going to help you through. Now, without any further ado, I'm going to take a drink of water because I must. And now we are going to dive in to the five brands that we want to introduce you to tonight. And we have tried to pull together five brands from different industries because we don't know you. We don't know what is your what you're interested in here, here. But we have chosen five of the best brands in our inventory. And I'm excited to share these with you. Let me just uh, give you a little bit of the lay of the land of how this introduction to these brands is going to go. Uh, you're going to see each one on a slide. We're going to talk briefly about the key important points about that brand. And then we're going to watch a two to three minute video for each brand, which will be either a brand story video or a franchisee testimonial. All right. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. The first brand that I am excited to share with you. This is one of my favorite brands. I present it almost on a weekly basis to folks around the country. It's a company called Next Day Access in the home services industry. Now, Next Day Access is a company um, that provides home and commercial modification, allowing the aging and disabled to remain in their homes more easily and more easily access public spaces. This is a company that installs wheelchair ramps, um, lifts, um, shower lifts, shower bars, anything that you can think of in a residence or in a public space that improves mobility for aging people and disabled people, that's what this company does. And I gotta tell you, it's a fantastic brand. Let me just give you some uh, high level information here. This company was founded in 1997. They began franchising in 2012. <clears throat> At last count, there were 28 franchisees around the United States. That number is outdated. We only get new figures about once a year, and it's about time to, to revise our figures. Uh, but at last count, about a year ago, there were 28. They were projecting to add 10 more in 2023. Now, this is a business, this is a franchise that is semi-passive at onset. What does that mean? From the moment you open your doors, if you want to be a, a passive owner or a semi-passive owner and have a manager running the day-to-day -day business for you, you're perfectly welcome to do that from the very beginning. Now let's talk about uh, the return on investment potential. The numbers I'm gonna share with you are from a section of that 300 page franchise disclosure document called the item 19. This is the third way that you're going to evaluate the potential return on investment with a franchise is through the item 19, which shows you actual financial performance for franchise owners in the system for the previous year. So the numbers that we're looking at tonight are from the year ended 2022. Sometime within the next month, we'll be getting the 2023 numbers. It takes some time to get all those calculated. But with this particular brand, Next Day Access, the average annual revenue for a franchise owner in this system is $1.320 million, million Now, this is an average. There are some franchise owners who do more than $1.3 million. There are some who do less than $1.3 million. This is the average. But the second number I want you to pay attention to there is the average annual profit margin of 62%. Now, here's a little secret about the home services industry. Home services is known for having some of the highest profit margins and the lowest investment range to get in. And we really see this borne out with next day access. 62% average annual profit margin. Now, let's talk about this investment range that you see on the screen. An investment range... Uh, for this brand is 159725 on the low end, up to about 316000 which means you can get all in with this business for as low as one fifty nine, or up to about 316000 I want to explain to you the three things that you'll find in an investment range. Number one is the franchise fee. Every franchise system has a franchise fee. That is that gives you the rights to the territory, the rights to the brand, the rights to the proprietary systems, processes, procedures, 
everything that you get with the franchise. Uh, it's like a business in a box. The franchise fee gets you the business in the box. The second part of the investment range is hard assets, equipment, supplies, furnishings, uh, brick and mortar build out, if that's the kind of business that you have. All that is included in the investment range. And then the, thir the third thing that you'll find in the investment range is usually up to about six months of operating capital. Uh, they want to make sure that you've got enough cash on hand to get that business up and running in the first six months or so without any strain on your personal finances. So outstanding financials with this brand uh, when you compare the investment range against the potential return on investment that you see there. I want to go ahead and introduce you to one of the franchise owners here. He's going to tell you a little bit about his story. I'm Dave Gunsberger. I own XX Boston. I've been doing this since about 2015, and um, I'm going great. This was a good fit for me and my background. Um, we've always had some like, development in my family, and then my background is in human services management. And so this was a good fit like, to combine those two things for me. So even though we are a franchise organization, like we're a small business, there's not a ton of us here. And so we have a very family-oriented culture. Um, I mean, my kids wear the next day access hoodies, my wife's involved, all my like circle of like, family and friends are all kind of know what, what this is about. My employees, we spend a lot of time together when I bring people on, like it really has to be a good fit. And so, you know, the culture is very much a family-based thing. When we get calls from customers, like they get that vibe, right? We're not some big organization with a phone tree and people are, they talk to different people every time. Like, when we have customers, they come into you know the business and they're kind of they have consistency through through the relationships they're building with us. Doing some cool jobs actually I did a job at the uh, New England Motor Speedway on the racetrack. That was a really cool job we did. We've done jobs at Harvard University. We've done jobs for like school systems. We did this job for this apartment building. It was uh, gigantic. I mean like hundreds of hundreds of feet away. It's like huge. And um, I think it's kind of cool to like see what you've done or, or also other jobs that are just in your community that you drive by and you're like your friends can see and their kids can see or just people you drive by and you're like hey i did that um those are kind of cool to like know where those are and kind of like it kind of makes you part of the community in ways that you might not have experienced if you had a different kind of profession oh, very nice all right, folks that's a wrap <laughs> All right, next day access. Now, I do want to make something clear as we begin with this brand and as we talk about the brands that we're going to look at uh, after this. You may think to yourself, I don't know the first thing about installing a uh, mobility ramp, a wheelchair ramp. I don't know anything about installing shower mobility uh, lifts or pull bars or anything like that. And that's okay. What folks are, what these franchise systems are looking for is not someone who knows how to build a wheelchair ramp but someone who knows how to build a business. Okay, You are the CEO, you're the president, you're the owner of the business. And part of your responsibility is to hire your contractors or to uh, hire your employees or recruit your 1099 contractors who are the ones who are already uh, familiar with this kind of work and are going to be doing that labor for you. And part of the training that you're going to go through is showing you how to find and recruit the right people uh, to do the work, whether they be W-2 employees or 1099 contractors, okay? So our first brand, amazing company, Next Day Access. Here's what I want you to do. If you like this brand, and if you want some more information about this brand, I want you to pick up your phone, and I want you to text your full name and the letters N-D-A to the phone number that you see on the screen, 815-885-5475. That's my mobile phone. I got it sitting right here beside me. Uh, it's going to vibrate as soon as you start uh, sending these text messages. What that's going to do is it's just going to tell us, hey, I like this. I'd like to learn more about it. There's no commitment. There's nothing like that. There's no obligation. It just lets us know we need to get some more information in your hands. Okay. So if you like Next Day Access, text your full name and NDA to 815 885 5475. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next brand that we want to share with you. And this is another one of my favorites, and it's another one that I present almost on a weekly basis. I love this brand. 
Uh, it's called Soccer Stars. This is a youth sports uh, soccer program. They are the largest franchised youth soccer program in the United States, positively impacting kids' lives through fun and athletic skill building. So let me give you some high points about this brand. This company was founded in 2000. They just began franchising back in 2020 during the pandemic. And so far, they have 77 franchise locations around the country at last count. And they were projecting seven new units last year, seven new owners last year. I currently have, I think, three people uh, who are going through the process with Soccer Stars right now. Just an outstanding, outstanding brand. I know you're going to love watching this video. This is another one that is semi-passive at onset. So right from the beginning, you launch your youth soccer program in your city. You can have someone running that business for you, a head coach, a, a manager. Take a look at these financials. Average annual revenue in 2022 for, for a Soccer Stars franchise owner came in at $1.4 million with an average annual profit margin of around 59%. Outstanding financials, especially when you line that up against the investment range that begins at only $72,800 on the low end up to about one oh five eight. dollars So for just couple notches above $100,000, you are all in on a business that has the potential of generating $1.4 million, uh, depending upon your territory. So let's take a minute and watch their video. I'm from uh, Buenos Aires, Argentina. I was born and raised there and of course ate soccer and watched soccer and lived and breathed soccer all my life. I think it's, uh, you know, the most wonderful sport. So when I had children, I wanted to convey to them uh, the passion that soccer brings to life. I realized things could be done much better in terms of what was available here. I was so passionate about sports and impacting kids and people through sports. And so I had a lot of opportunities through my career where I worked for Everlast, the boxing brand, for a number of years, worked for another startup, worked for another licensing company, and really stayed in kind of that sporting goods, health and wellness industry. But what I didn't have is I didn't feel like I was having a social impact on the world. And so what happened is I had this opportunity where my kids actually went through soccer stars as a kid. It was a rite of passage. And when I went through that, that experience and that brand, I said, wow, this thing is really unbelievable. And what if I could make this accessible to everybody across the country? And that was my first personal consumer experience with Super Soccer Stars. And then when I had the opportunity to actually acquire it and run it, it was a dream come true. I wanna positively impact kids through sports. And I know growing up, I was not taught the fundamentals of sport. I was thrown into rec sports, rec soccer. And as far as I knew, if I headed the ball, I did really well. If I kicked the ball up the field, I did really well. And it's not that I was unsuccessful in those things, but I didn't know the fundamentals of the sport. And so I didn't have the confidence to stick with the sport of soccer or other sports that I took because I didn't have those basic fundamentals. And so fundamentals with athletic ability, I can have a lot more confidence and I'm creating a healthy lifestyle for myself and for other kids and for other parents. And that's what we wanna start at the beginning. So the reason why we love soccer is it's the gateway sport. It's the first sport experience that almost every kid, every family has. So we can impact them as young as 18 months. That is a huge opportunity for us to create a healthy, active lifestyle for kids and for parents. And that's really at the core of what we're trying to accomplish. The reason someone should consider the franchise opportunity with Soccer Stars is because it is a unbelievable ability. And it's so rare in life for you to be able to follow your passion and make an incredible living at the same time. Why are we different? Soccer's everywhere, right? You can find soccer on this corner and that corner. And the reality is the industry is unbelievably fragmented still. And our curriculum and content has 20 years of refinement, refinement, refinement. Why do we do that? Because we want that kid to have this unbelievable experience. Like they got to come in and we got to change their life. And what do we do? We make them have a lot of fun. Oh, and by the way, they learn a bunch of skills. It's just unbelievable to watch that journey. And even more amazing about this is it has incredible financial dynamics. It has incredible lifestyle dynamics. It has incredible passion dynamics. If you love kids, you love sports, and you love business, then that's the reason you should do it.
One of the things that I know about this brand is it validates very, very well. Remember earlier when we were talking about the process where you'll make validation phone calls to current owners in the franchise system. Um, I've taken a few people through this process and every one of them has shared with me, man, the validation calls are fantastic. The people really do validate the claims of the brand and just how much they love being a part of this company. So uh, if you love youth sports and recreation, if you really love the idea of making a difference in your community and changing kids' lives and having a lucrative uh, income yourself uh, doing it, Soccer Stars is an outstanding opportunity for you. So if you like Soccer Stars, I want you to pick up your phone and you're going to text your full name and the word soccer to that phone number that you see on the screen, 815-885-5475. All right. Okay. Let's go ahead and move on to brand number three. We're going to go back to the home services industry, and we're going to talk about a company called Floor Coverings International. So Floor Coverings International is North America's leading in-home designer floor coverings brand, offering product sales and installation. So this company was founded in 1988. They began franchising the same year. Uh, Currently, or the last number that we have on franchise count was 250. Uh, I know there's been growth since that number. They were projecting to add 38 new owners around the country last year. This is another one that's semi-passive at onset. So this isn't a great opportunity for you to have that absentee ownership role while someone else runs the day-to-day -day business for you. The average annual revenue for a Floor Coverings International owner in 2022 came in right at about $1.1 million with a profit margin right around 45%. And again, this is another brand with a very low investment range from $100,000 up to about $250,000. This is a mobile showroom concept where you're basically showing up at people's home in a van. Uh, you have you have samples. You um have laptop technology where you're going to be able to show them flooring designs and opportunities there in home. They're going to order the product from you. And when the product comes in, your team is then going to go in and install the product for them. So let's take a look at their video. My name is Dan Kester. I'm out of Raleigh, North Carolina. From the time I, I got out of high school, I wanted to be a business owner, president of a company, you know, something along those lines, something significant, you know, something that I could really be proud of. And we just decided to make a decision to, to take control of our future. I'm Denise Kester. I am a teacher. I'm a high school teacher while I'm helping my husband open and run the business. Um, I'm working on operations right now and we're setting up all the accounts and the office and all those types of things. We needed to find somewhere that number one was ethical. Number two provided a strong mission statement and something that we aligned with. We also wanted to make sure that we provided a product and a service to the customers that, you know, was second to none. Uh, that was that was the ultimate goal. Floor Coverings International will be a great opportunity for someone who wants to have a package in terms of a company that has everything together to help you get started, dedicated employees who actually love the business. Almost everyone I've encountered at this point owned the franchise or one of the sister partner franchises sold it to come work for the company to help other people grow. So that says volumes about how good this company is to work for, the potential, the earning potential, the future potential, the career potential. So if someone was interested in Floor Coverings International, they would make a good decision because they're going to get the customer service, they're going to get the experience from people supporting them, they're going to get the education they need to do well, they're going to get the tools. This is a phenomenal company to get started in. All right, this is another one where we have some active candidates going through the process. I have one going through it here in the Detroit metro area with me. We have another one out in California who is evaluating the company, but an outstanding company in the home services industry. And if this is another way, if this is one that you would like some additional information on, pick up your phone, text your full name and the, initial, the letters FCI to 
And just so you all know, my phone is starting to ring. So uh, we've got some folks who are uh, interested in some of the things we're looking at today, but this is a great opportunity in the home services space. All right, let's go ahead and move on. We have two more that we wanna share with you. And the next one is a concept that com absolutely blew up last year. Um, it grew so fast that the company actually had to put a moratorium on new candidates to give them time to catch up with the infrastructure and make sure that they had everything in place to support their current owners and the new owners coming on. Uh, we even have entire states that have already sold out. There are no more available territories for this concept. It's called Game Day Men's Health. And this is a brand that is helping men to reclaim their health and fitness and vitality through hormone replacement therapy and other therapeutics. So this company is based out of California. They were founded in 2018 and they have not been franchising too long. They began franchising in 2022 and there are already well over a hundred uh, new franchise uh, locations opening up around the country. I helped two of them. I opened up, uh, helped a client open up Palm Springs and Palm Desert, California back in January. Uh, they were projecting 200 last year, and I know that they blew past that. So very fast growing concept. This is another one that's semi-passive at onset. You can have a clinic director in place managing your clinics uh, while you are the absentee owner. The average annual revenue for a game day men's health comes in just shy of $1.9 million. Now, <clears throat> I told you at the top of the presentation, we were gonna show you concepts with an, annual, an average annual profit margin of 40% or more. We fudged a little bit on this one. So this one has an average annual profit margin of 33%. So we let this one in, even though it didn't quite reach that 40% mark, but we did so because it is such an outstanding uh, brand and outstanding franchise opportunity. The total investment range here is 225, 825, up to about 391. So um, you can get in for up to about 300,000. Now, if you're in a very a place with a, a significant real estate rates, this is a, look, a franchise where you have to have a brick and mortar. So depending upon the real estate prices where you are, your investment could be on the higher end. And in some places it could be on the lower end. So let's take a look at their video. My name is Jimmy and I live in New York City, but I am the franchise owner for Santa Monica. I chose to go into franchising specifically because of game day. I saw like what the model was like and it was serving a underserved market for men's wellness, but also it provided the opportunity for like recurring revenue and that recurring revenue each month was the same price as like Equinox. I don't know how many like franchises you can own where you're gonna have a subscriber model, it's an emerging market, and it's also going to provide you like monthly recurring revenue at a per ticket item that's as high as a membership at a premier location. For me, it was like a no-brainer to actually like, join because it was, it kind of hit a lot of the things to have a successful business. I got connected to Evan because he reached out to me and he said that you know he had a really unique business model and he really wanted someone to kind of help him build awareness for his business. And so when he initially reached out, I was a little bit unsure just because uh, I, there wasn't too much information on testosterone therapy in general. And so he was really kind of a first mover in terms of like going into a business like this. My transition from doing marketing from game day to actually owning one was really simple because I saw how successful it was. Like there's a saying where you have to eat your own dog food, right? That was literally where I was like, wow, I'm doing all the marketing for the game days. I'm seeing how fast Evan grow. I'm seeing how many patients he's getting. I'm seeing the residual income that's happening, the lifetime value of like the patients that are coming through. And it was a no brainer. I remember when he, was talking about franchising, he kind of like tongue in cheek was like, do you want the LA market? And I was like, hell yeah, I want the LA market. You know, like give me as many locations as I can in LA. It was one of those things where like, I saw it and I could believe it, right? And I understood the game day concept is very real. There was very little friction in me, like diving into it and saying, look, I don't know anything about owning a game day really, but I've seen the success. I see the ongoing success. 
Like, I, I want a piece of that for sure. My favorite part of owning a game day franchise is we made a ton of money already uh, in our first month. So we broke even in our first month, which is insanity. And two, we are getting recurring revenue that's already happening. We have a base that we're trying to build. The psychology of owning a game day is different than I think most other franchises because we're playing a game to get to 100 patients. Because at 100 patients, your recurring revenue is most likely going to always have you be break even. And then anything on top of that is going to be just profit for you to have. So it's not like, how do I get patients to come as many times as possible? It's how do I get 100 patients, right? And that's the game that you play. And then you can actually do very real benchmarking in terms of, okay, like this month I did this many patients, this month I have this many patients, this was my attrition rate with the patients. And you can kind of see like, okay, in three months, in five months, can I hit that 100 patient mark and be at break even point? But just in terms of like the cash flow we got our first month, first month open business, we broke even and we were all like flabbergasted. We were like, oh my God, that was so fast. I'm most excited about continuing to open more, making great money with the game days, and then also being able to service men, give them a space for them to go to so that they can live like fulfilled lives too. All right, game day men's health. And this is one of those that if you feel like you have an interest in doing something like this, I recommend that you respond much sooner rather than later because these territories, they've lifted the moratorium on new candidates and the territories are going to begin selling again very, very quickly. And we're going to see uh, more and more states just completely sell out and be done expanding. So if this is something that you'd like some information on, uh, pick up your phone and text to me your full name the word game day to 815-885-5475. And one of them already uh, came in before I could even give you those instructions. So um, pick up your phone, send that in, and uh, we'll get you some more information. All right, we are bringing it home. We've got one more brand that we're going to share with you uh, before we wrap up this evening. And this is a concept called Tent World. So Tent World automotive styling centers. And we're not just talking about tent. Um, this is a pretty cool concept that I'm really just beginning to feel familiarize myself with. So this concept is serving vehicle owners with window tinting, vehicle wraps, lighting kits, sound system installation, uh, security systems, and more. Just about any kind of aftermarket uh, products that you need for your vehicle to trick it out, to, to make it what you want it to be. That's what Tent World is all about. Um, this company was founded in 1982, began franchising in 2007. At last count, we had 101 Tent Worlds uh, around the United States, and they were projecting 60 more to open up in 2023. Another one that is semi-passive at onset, so this is another one where we fudged a little bit on, uh, we're not quite at a million dollars on the revenue, but we decided to include it anyway because of the profit margins. The average annual revenue, the average, comes in right around 883,000. Now, there are several tent worlds that are doing well above a million dollars in average, in annual revenue. There are some that are doing below 883. So. Um, it is absolutely possible to do uh, above a million dollars in top line revenue. And the gross profit margins with this concept are through the roof. 70, now, let's just call it 80% gross profit margins with this concept. <clears throat> this is one that you can get into with a total investment range uh, between 259.5 up to, we'll just go ahead and call it 400,000. So again, um, a big part of this is dependent upon where you are located in the country and what you're going to be paying for a lease for your brick and mortar location. But it also depends upon how many bays you want. Uh, do you just want one or two bays or do you want six or eight bays in your shop? Uh, that's really up to you to decide. And of course, that will influence the investment range as well. So let's meet our uh, friends from Pensacola, Florida, who are Tent World owners. Hey, this is Jennifer Mitchell and my husband, John Mitchell, and we own Tent World Pensacola, and we've been open for five months now. 
Prior to this, I was involved in the service industry for a long time. We know that COVID killed big parties, and that's kind of like that I managed large parties for a catering company. Cars have always been something I've been very involved in. We decided to take that passion and drive it into a business and hopefully open up our own store. We originally found Tent World as I was a distributor for some of the products that Tent World sells. So I've met a couple of the franchisees prior to opening up one here. I'm still in sales for commercial flooring, but obviously I support my husband and we both own it together. I do more of the social media and kind of background stuff. He had to convince me to move to Florida and open the store, but it was an easy sell once we went and met with the team up at corporate. First thing I did was send the general inquiry on the website and I got a call back from Anthony roughly a week later and here we are today. He liked the idea, Tim World does not have another Panhandle store and we flew up to Fort Lauderdale, met with Charles and the team. We were sold by the passion drive of corporate and the, and the guys there very much want people to be involved with their franchise and they support us to do that. I loved how structured and well thought out the whole franchise was and it seemed like Charles, he had franchises before and kind of learned from those, so he took those notes and made it better for Tent World. One of the biggest things I like about it is the owners of other stores are extremely willing to help. I can get on the phone with anybody from Florida to California on a daily basis, ask questions, they will answer the question truthfully, which is hard to find. Their success drives on the success of everybody else. We wanted customers to be comfortable when they came in and we're waiting sometimes a couple hours. So we have our little living room setting. Of course, he wanted the lift because that makes working easier. Absolutely, I mean, having a lift in the shop is much better. We were actually one of the first ones to get the displays here. They were kind of test run. Also, the layout of the store really lent itself to how we have it set up. So behind us, the little alcove with a sound system, you can kind of get into that area. And then we have double doors over here, and we can bring cars into our showroom and present them to customers, especially special customers, present their car inside, which is a kind of a cool thing. The Timberwolf does offer a bunch of services wide variety, which is good because we are able to get customers through the door for a certain service and then we are able to branch off and sell them a ceramic coating accessory for the car. So we are able to do a lot more than just tent. Even though it's a franchise, it's our business. I feel like we're still a small business, we're locally owned and we make sure to tell people that because that does make a big difference to people. For me, being a mother, the people I relate to the most are other mothers so I can speak to them about what is beneficial for them. We've had a bunch of repeat customers, which I find in a four or five month period, I didn't think we'd get that to like at least a year when we'd have someone come back for another service. Future goals and aspirations, definitely want to have another one, possibly two, get this one nailed down first. Honestly, keep putting out a good product, having people give us good reviews, build our name, build our brand, take over the Florida Panhandle. All right, there you have it. If you uh, love all things automobiles, uh, Tent World is an outstanding opportunity for you. And um, one thing that I want to say uh, ab about the financials of all of these systems that we're looking at here, the investment range, you might be thinking to yourself, man, I, don't, I love what I'm seeing here, but I don't have 200 grand. I don't have 150 grand. Uh, you know, I don't have that kind of cash just sitting around. And the great news is you don't have to have that kind of cash sitting around. Um, there are so many funding options for you, financing options for you to explore. A lot of people don't realize that you can roll over your retirement, uh, whether it's a 40, uh, 401k or 403b, you can roll that over penalty free into a business startup. You can tap your home equity. You can get an SBA loan for about 20% down payment. So if you don't have that investment range sitting in your bank account, don't let that stop you from exploring uh, these opportunities because there are ways to help you with that funding. All right. If you love what you see with Tent World, I know I love what I see with Tent World. Uh, go ahead and pick up your phone. We've already had someone send theirs over. Um, send me your full name and the word Tent to 815-885-5475. And we're going to get some more information in your hands to help you evaluate this further. Now, we've reached the end of our five brands. What happens? Hey. Uh, what happens next? Well, if you responded to any of these brands this evening by texting your information over, then a mem the member of our team who invited you to this webinar, they're going to reach out to you to just schedule a quick call with you 
to collect a little bit of information from you to answer your questions. They're going to send you over a PDF document with more information. And then if you want to go ahead and have that introduction with the franchisor, they're going to be the ones to go ahead and facilitate that introduction for you. So that is what happens after you text your information to us. Um, and that's it. Hey, we've reached the end. I have had a blast. I hope this has been a blast for you. Thank you so much for being here. We do have uh, your contact information from the registration. Uh, we will we will reach out to everyone who registered one more time. Um, we did record this tonight. We're going to be posting it on our YouTube channel. So uh, you can have some opportunity to go back and watch it again if you would like to. All right, folks, that's a wrap. I hope you all have a wonderful evening again. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, have a great rest of the week.